It's my Tarzan call. It's the same call your mom makes. In bed. <laughs>
or at the very least take my lunchbox home with me rather so, than them have to deliver it. Yeah, I don't know about the last part. Why, why can't you know you just take your own lunchbox? Home? Yeah, I don't know about that part. But um, the 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 other part is I think it's, forgive my ignorance. I think I think somebody on Patreon told me this. I could be maybe it was somebody just in the comments. They said um, since working hours in India are so, so long, so long, and so a early, a so lot late. of um, families do have a stay-at-home parent, right? And so it's a way of one saving money, and, and also they also have a big value on food. Yeah, and so they don't they don't yeah. obviously have McDonald's on every corner like we do. No, uh, I get that. And uh, even and even like if we watch the lunchbox, I'm I'm pretty confident you're not gonna get like Americans are are noted for eating crap. Yeah, and eating processed and just throwing garbage. Yeah. Whereas the someone would want that the food is made with love yeah. and it's not if you can't make it the night before and then have it and stick it in the fridge that that's 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 uh, that's got to be the main yeah. so that's, driver that that, that i understand i don't know why you just can't take your own lunchbox home so that's the part i don't understand yeah i mean that's a great service it's great i don't have to take my lunchbox and maybe home. that is a, maybe maybe that's the same thing maybe because when you get back home it is so late what happens is they bring it back in time for it to get back and get washed and get prepped so that that doesn't have to be done when you get home and you can spend time with your family and not have to be doing dishes. Also, how much is this? Because this service, if it was in LA, oh my stars, it would be for the well, rich. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've got Uber Eats <clears throat> and you have comparable things, not done on bike like this, but like Uber does Uber Eats and but that's some like, other. You want to go to McDonald's, you want to go to a, a just right. some, some food not, place. Not a to home do a home meal. cooked meal here <clears throat> and have it delivered from home to a work and then bring the lunchbox back, it would be for the wealthy. Oh yeah, it, it couldn't be common. Like that's what a, like celebrities' assistants do. Exactly. Like exactly. <laughs> so this is, I, and you know what else this does for me? Knowing how this is only in Mumbai and knowing the ratio of like only four in a million are messed that's up. That's crazy. That adds another element of specialness to the lunchbox of how serendipitous and providential mm -hmm. their connection is because what are the odds that that could have ever happened? Yeah. You know, knowing this, it makes the odds of their connecting that much more out of this world possible. Yeah. I, I love it. This is amazing. 125 years they've been doing this. How do you, like, also, how do you sign up for it? Right. Like, is there online? And what does it cost? And you can tell us some rupees because we can make the ratio change really quick. We can make the uh, ratio change really quick. I... <laughs> I can't, uh, um, but like, I, I, I wonder like, it, is there like an online form that you can just sign up for or yeah. what, what, is, what's the process? And it said it doesn't from homes, but if you remember Irfan's, he doesn't have anybody at home to make him food. So I would imagine for someone like Irfan's character, they, it, they got it from a restaurant for him. Remember? Cause he went back to the uh, restaurant yeah, and said right. the food, who cooked the food today? So clearly they don't just pick up from the home? Did, or was that artistic license for the film? Because they said it's home to business, back to home. I can't imagine they wouldn't do it from a restaurant because you've got single people who don't have anyone at home to make them their lunch. But aren't those his tins or are they the restaurant's tins? Right. I don't know. There's a lot of questions. I don't know. A lot of questions you can answer for uh, us. But I find this Because obviously intriguing. there's nothing like this in America. And why? <laughs> I'm also wondering why haven't they branched out and done it in other cities? It's, I guess it's just a unique thing to Mumbai. Why not New Delhi? It's a big city. Yeah. Uh... Maybe they've done market tests and seen it's just not worth it. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's been so in, in, it came 125 years, so this has just you been part of the culture. Yeah, you could never do this in America. It would be way too expensive. Yeah, just, and you wouldn't have people dedicated enough to make yeah. sure the ratio was that high. No. No, who like are delivering the lunches and feel a sense of con contribution to society. You don't get that here in America. What you get here with a lot of people with jobs it would be lower paying jobs which i assume these guys are probably making a, a good living compared to other things but not a fantastic living no uh these kinds of jobs in america most americans only they don't think about the contribution they're making to society they think about how my life sucks and i don't get paid enough and this is a temp uh, job. this is a temp job and yeah. uh, i'm uh, you know a lot of people won't even take a job like that because it's beneath them so uh, this is so cool. Yeah. So it's like it's like a, it's kind of like an Uber slash uh, DoorDash slash Postmates yeah. service. Kind of. Yeah, thing. but even but, but on, I bet if it's, because it's home cooked. And I bet if you talk to the 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 delivery guys, I bet they would tell you they feel a real sense of contribution and pride to yeah. their city and their culture 
and feel a, a real sense of, uh, I, I love what I do and I know that I'm making people's lives better and I'm a part of my city and I'm a part of my country. I just, I guarantee you'd get that from them. Yeah. So you could just see it on their faces, the way they're wearing their hats. And mm -hmm. uh, you know what it kind of reminds me of? The pride that used to be in the postal system here when it first started and you had the Pony oh, Express. Yeah. And it was, come rain, come shine, we're going to make the delivery we're going to make. That level of pride of delivery service, you know, mm -hmm. even FedEx doesn't have that anymore. Yeah. Well, that was awesome. I liked funny. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's made me appreciate <laughs> lunchbox. Yeah, we're dorks. <laughs> <laughs>